Heterosexuality is not the fruit of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Self-control is because mm -hmm. now we're assuming that to be heterosexual means you are ethically right. And that's not true because yeah. half of the pastors that's fallen in sin are heterosexual. That's right. So ultimately what I'm saying is that God saves you for himself mm -hmm. and in saving you for himself, he frees you from the penalty of sin and the power of sin. So as you continue to experience temptation and most likely you will, you are now free from its power so you don't have to be a slave to it. That's I just think she may be saying something that's a little more on a different level that, you know, you have to be um, in a different level spiritually to understand the context of it. Yes. And I feel like you have to you have to at least know the plight of the LGBTQ in order to understand Isaiah. I think that's the part that you're missing is that you don't know their plight because you're not one of them. And you either don't know many or haven't heard their complaints or seen their because i read comments of these things that people come after her for and i and i read them and i see the video responses and i'm like there's people who really be in these comments like i want to come to god but i don't like men and this is a woman who's attracted to women or i want to come to god but i don't think i can like a man this is you know what i'm saying like these are things that are being said hence her response but because you haven't seen it or aren't keen to it or ignorant to it right now it sounds like she's saying something so wild and she's not like <laughs> Welcome back to Amber and the Truth. My name is Amber. What I do is expose the truth, the gospel truth that is. And today, we're going to do another reaction of Isaiah Robinson. Well, she was just out here in my city not too long ago, bro. But anyway, uh, Jackie Hill Perry is under some hot fire from a few creators, which I want to know what uh, Isaiah thinks, you know, um, Isaiah Robinson. And yeah, so we're about to jump into what he thinks about this video per se because i'm curious let's go it's family interesting story today i don't know who all knows who jackie hill perry is um for those who don't know she is a pretty well-known christian um she used to be in the homosexual lifestyle now she is married with children however the internet is in a frenzy today Wow. It has been for a couple of days because of some things she said um, as far as like still have an attraction to the same gender and also that God did not call her to be heterosexual. And I'm just going to play a couple of clips and um, give you my perspective. First of all, I just want to say that I, I absolutely uh, I enjoy Jackie Hill Perry's content for things that I've seen. Yeah. You know, I, I respect her as a Christian. I love her as a sister. Um but I am going to give my perspective on here on some of the things that she has said and put it in context the way I feel it should probably be, probably be, put, be put in context for some people out there who might um, pervert it. Right. So let's 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 take a look at some of the things that she said. This video. The gospel is not come to Jesus so you can be straight because heterosexuality is not a fruit of the spirit. Self-control is. <laughs> The gospel is come to Jesus so you can be made right with God. For those who don't. Hallelujah. So she said the gospel Correct. is come to Jesus so you can be made right with God. The gospel has not come so that you could be straight. However, hmm. ladies and gentlemen, the gospel, when the word is engrafted in you, yes, you get right with the Lord, which means you get closer to the Father. Hallelujah. Yeah. And the closer you get to God, the more you come into God's nature. Yes. You get what I'm saying? So, in other words, she's saying that the gospel is not coming that you be made straight, but mm -hmm. it definitely delivers you from homosexuality mm -hmm. if you are engrafting the word. So, if it's delivering you from homosexuality, not, not saying that you absolutely need to be with somebody. Right. right? It says in the scriptures, Paul says, I'd rather you be like me. But if you were to get in a situation, the Lord would want it a man and a woman, which is straight. Why? Because it, so, it shows the nature of God, mm -hmm. a man marrying a woman. A man marrying a man does not show the nature of God. A woman wearing a, marrying a woman does not show the nature of God. Why doesn't it? Because the soul is feminine and the spirit is masculine in mm -hmm. the scriptures. So if that's the case, a woman marrying a man is like the soul marrying the spirit or Christ marrying the bride. 
It's yeah. showing God's nature. It's showing us God. Mm-hmm. Our actions is showing us God. So it's in his nature. Whenever our actions are not showing God and things that we're doing are not showing God, it's outside of God's nature. All right. I, I he he right he got a he his whole point is is valid however i think the way she said it makes sense to the community she's talking to because she was in that community i've seen a lot of posts a lot of comments to where a lot of people who aren't christians but who are lgbtq they've complained and you know voiced their opinions about how they feel like the people who are leaving the community and finding Christ are going just so they can be straight or going just so they can appease mom and dad or, or, or uh, please the masses of what society says. And that statement alone says what it's not because the whole point of, cause she said the gospel of Christ, the truth, right? The truth of coming to Christ isn't about your sexuality it is about what he did for you and you becoming more like god and in becoming more like god you will see that your desires and your wants will start to change but in the beginning when you are in that lifestyle that should not be your focus oh i need to be straight oh i need to need to make sure i find start to find men attractive start to find women attractive that's not that shouldn't be your focus when you first come to christ especially if you're lgbtq your focus needs to be jesus who is he what did he do why did he do it who are you now? You know what I'm saying? Like, these are valid questions that need to be answered way before you start worrying about being with somebody. But I, get, he's right. And I believe she's right. Simple. So just because it's not a fruit of the spirit does not mean it's not in God's nature. No, Jackie Hill Perry is an author, poet, and artist who's perhaps well known for her very public and well-documented experience of navigating her Christian faith and her sexuality. Her book, Gay Girl, Good God, is still listed as the number one best-selling book on gender and sexuality and religious studies. She writes in the book that she knew that she was attracted to women before she knew how to spell her name. And because her conversion story is rooted in the Adam and Eve myth as interpreted by white evangelicalism, her conversion is grounded in born sinner theology. As in, she sees the struggle of her sexuality through the Adam and Eve myth as proof that she was born into sin. What I felt before I knew how to spell my name, she wrote, was only proof that I was also Adam's child. In an interview with Christian Sexuality, she even begins telling her personal story by connecting it to Adam and Eve, which she describes as the story that shapes hers. I think you saw the beginning of someone choosing to allow their affections to define what goodness is. And so I think when I was born, I was born into an ancestry of that kind of (laughs) uh, doubt, if you will, like believing and feeling as if my feelings should be authoritative over and above the word of god jackie hill now i'm not sure what jackie's book says that's why i played the young gentleman right there because he describes uh, a lot of the book that i have not read but if, if she's saying that she was born gay um i i don't believe somebody is born gay no that's not what she was saying she she believed that she was born gay that's that's the common belief in the in the community is that you are born this way because it's such a desire and it's such an innate desire like you can't to them you can't tell me how to feel i love who i love that's what they say right love is love i love who i love and it's because it feels so natural and innate to them that it's like you telling you not to like what you like you know what i'm saying like how i'm gonna tell you that you should like brussels sprouts or that you should like drinking white milk like what you know like cow's milk let me force you to do that no because you don't like it right they it feels innate to them not even realizing that it's a person a disembodied personality which is a demonic spirit that's giving you your desires but anyway now can something connect to you after you are born most definitely yeah so that may be the situation when it comes to jackie hill something connected to her when she was born and the first thing she knew is that she was attracted to women could that be possible yeah it definitely could be possible let's play this video of her talking to lecrae heterosexuality is not the fruit of the spirit Mm -hmm. self-control is because Mm -hmm. now we're assuming that to be heterosexual means you are ethically right and that's not true because half of the pastors that's fallen in sin are heterosexual so ultimately what i'm saying is that god saves you for himself Mm -hmm. and in saving you for himself he frees you from the penalty of sin and the power of sin so as you continue to experience temptation and most likely you will you are now free from its power so you don't have to be a slave to it that's ultimately so here's what i'll say about what jackie's saying right here 
because the Lord said when we leave here, we you know we won't be married. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll be like the angels. Um, so to to truly be connected to God, you know, is to be one with God and truly married to God. You know what I mean? To be married on earth does show God's nature, though. Hallelujah. But she may be just going more into depth as far as spirituality, as far as to be. I'm talking about with Christ, though. Hallelujah. Um, because, you know, the word does draw us closer to God. The word does bring us more and more into being one with God. But there are different things, hallelujah, that we may uh, act in on earth that also shows God and shows the nature of God. Being married, a man marrying a woman shows the nature of God. Having a child, hallelujah, the seed um, being uh, the seed impregnating you and Christ being born in you, it shows the nature of God. A, a woman marrying a man and having a child, it shows the nature of God because it also shows as the spirit comes to your soul, hallelujah, and gives birth to Christ in you, it's showing the nature of God. It's showing, it's showing us God by our actions. Mm. Glory be to God. However, it's all just us coming closer and closer. I just Isaiah is throwing me. Like I don't know what he's talking about. Like <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. He in this particular moment, what she is saying, like her whole point again is like in the LGBT community. Like I keep saying, they are so focused on the sexuality, their desires, that it is a thing. When a Christian, when a when a when an ex-gay comes becomes a Christian, they're they're fought with. Oh, you just denying who you really are. Oh, you just wanna. You're not really straight. Cause they say that about her. They say she's not really straight. They say she just suppressing it and she don't really. You know, her and Preston aren't really together. And she, he's her beard and you know just things like that because they don't understand the spiritual realm and how everything works and how things can be broken off of you. And the whole point of it is that just because you are straight don't mean you are inherently righteous that is her point just because you are sex uh heterosexual you're attracted to uh, you're a man attracted to woman your woman attracted to man that don't mean you automatically right just because you know what i'm saying and just and 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 um just because you are gay attracted to men and men and women that don't mean you automatically are just wrong because of that there's so if you weren't gay there were so many other sins you would be going to hell for that isn't the focus the focus is the fact that um christ died for your sins they're paid for now for you to understand what is be, what is what happened number one number two believe that it happened number three believe that you're free and understand that that lifestyle is not your innate feelings it is a demonic spirit giving you said feelings it is literally giving you those feelings so you think it's you and it's not you know what i'm saying so when she says that just because you were straight that don't mean you're inherently righteous because you can be straight and be in church and be sleeping with whoever and think you just la di da you cool and you not because the fruit of the spirit is self-control and there's a lot of people who come out of the LGBTQ and who come into Christ and they find that they find it, they find it hard to, to try to find opposite sex attractive. And that's not that shouldn't be their focus. Number one, they need to that demon need to be casted out. Number one, number two, they focus should be Christ. And your sexuality needs to not be your identity anymore. Your identity needs to be aligned in Christ. Know who you are in him. And then you can work on the self-control part. Having self-control. Understanding why it isn't okay to just sleep with any and everyone. Why is it okay to just indulge in every single feeling you have? You know, there's, there's levels to it. To God. Him showing us him and through his revelation. You get what I'm saying? No. So, <laughs> but okay. what she's saying is not completely off, but people can take this and pervert it, put it in their own context. You know, and it's 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 kind of dangerous the way she's actually um putting it. I don't understand what y'all hearing. You get what I'm saying? What like a what I think is that you two, the people who have issue with this, they're not keen on the LGBTQ complaints. Especially when it comes to Christianity. You don't know what they're saying. So what she's saying sounds foreign. It sounds weird. It sounds unbiblical. It sounds like it don't make sense. But these are the things she's hearing as an ex-gay woman. 
from people who are turning to Christ from living that lifestyle. She's hearing these things. You shouldn't be focused on trying to be straight, trying to find a husband when you was just a lesbian. No, focus on Christ. You know what I'm saying? That's not that shouldn't be your focus. But the so far I've only had I've only seen men address this. No women, no even ex gays. Um you know, Marcus Rogers and you are the only two I know that addressed this and I haven't heard what Marcus Rogers said, but it seems that, that y'all don't y'all are coming from a male's point of view who has not been nowhere near LGBTQ. That's what it sounds like. Y'all are coming from like a point of view you can't relate from or even have any closeness to because you only hearing what she's saying and not where it's rooted in, you know? A, a LGBT person will be ecstatic to hear this. God didn't call you to be straight. Heterosexual is not a fruit of the spirit. Oh my goodness, I know it. Finally, Jackie's, finally Jackie's on board. Do I think she meant it that way? No, I don't think she meant it that I don't think she meant it in that way, in that context, because she does. She also has other videos saying that when she was in that lifestyle, she used to tell her partners that we're going to hell. She also has a video where she talked about she wouldn't she wouldn't go to a gay wedding if she was praying for, because if she was praying for the people that were getting married, she'd be praying for them to break up. Unless she just took a turn all of a sudden and went to a different route, which I doubt. I just think she may be saying something that's a little more on a different level that you know you have to be um in a different level spiritually to understand the context of it yes and i feel like you have to you have to at least know the plight of the lgbtq in order to understand isaiah i think that's the part that you're missing is that you don't know their plight because you're not one of them and you either don't know many or haven't heard their complaints or seen their because i read comments of these things that people come after her for and I, and I read them and I see the video responses and I'm like, there's people who really be in these comments like, I want to come to God, but I don't like men. And this is a woman who's attracted to women. Or I want to come to God, but I don't think I can like a man. This is, you know what I'm saying? Like, these are things that are being said. Hence her response. But because you haven't seen it or aren't keen to it or ignorant to it right now, it sounds like she's saying something so wild. And she's not like. <laughs> Strong possibility. You know, and I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt. Hallelujah. Because I, I, I like Jackie, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know her personally or like that, but the things I've seen, her calling out Beyonce, her calling out Ke Kehlani, her calling out witches, you know, I take my hat off to Christians like that because those who have a voice, like Jackie has a voice, and for her to say things like that, like, I take my hat off to Christians like that. You get what I mean? It, it, it touches me in the spirit. Hallelujah. So I, I, I have a certain respect for her as a sister. What I've been saying, because that's what the Apostle Paul says. That's what Jesus says. That's what the but I hope that it's not a different route that she's taking. I hope that I hope that I'm right about her just being more in depth spiritually and saying something that you really have to go into the spirit to understand what she's actually talking about. God is calling us to be one with him. You get what I mean? Other things are just to show God. Yeah, two things can be true, as it. Bible says. Like, we serve a, see a Savior who was tempted in all respects, yet without sin. And so, now in Hebrews 4, it says, now we have a great high priest who sympathizes with us. So, let's go to him when we're weak. The problem is, we don't want to keep going. Mm -hmm. So, it's easier mm -hmm. for me to identify myself mm -hmm. by my sin instead of pursuing the Savior until the day I die. That takes time. That takes endurance. That takes effort. And it takes faith mm -hmm. to say that you are better than everything I feel. That's what I've been trying to say, Lecrae. Hallelujah. So she's saying that a lot of people who are in that community and say that they love God, they'd rather come into agreement with their temptation. They'd rather come into agreement with their sin and identify as it instead of dying to it. Instead of allowing the Lord to heal those different wounds, instead of coming into deliverance from different spirits, they'd rather you know not fight the good fight the word of god says those who endure to the end shall be saved right. so there's an enduring that has to happen <laughs> whoever said coming to the lord was easy told you a complete lie oh god <laughs> it's a fight I did. 
Following the Lord Jesus Christ is a fight. It's 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 a war. It's out war. Here. You are in a spiritual warfare. Yeah. Especially Christians who are, you know what I mean, truly walking that walk. Especially true followers that are that are coming out of the world. Listen, I've dealt with I dealt with years and years and years of worldly activity. And I came to the Lord a little over three years ago. Mm. And all that world activity, the Lord is killing, but it takes time. Right. There's a lot of worldly activity that the Lord is killing by the root. This is why it's important to stay engrafted and to stay diving in your word. Yeah. The Lord to continue to engraft his word inside of you to be killing it because Christ is perfect. The more that Christ is uh, growing in you, the more perfect you're becoming. Let's check out this video. My immediately immediate response was, I don't want to be straight, though, because I presumed that God calling me to himself was the same as him calling me to be heterosexual. Point taken. That's literally what I was talking about. Because she knows what that lifestyle was like. And she knows what the current LGBTQ are saying. They really believe in order to come to God, you have to be straight first. Or that's what he wants you to do. Especially when it doesn't feel right with you. Like, a, like they feeling of who they believe they're attracted to feels so natural to them. Like blinking. Like talking, it is natural to them. It feels that's who they are. So that is why she's able to say, I feel like he was calling me to be straight and I didn't want to be. I wanted God, but I didn't want to straight this. You know what I'm saying? So this is, that's her whole point. Mm. I didn't understand that he's just like, no, just, I'm actually just calling you to you be, be with me. me. Come here. Right? Jesus Lord. And so I heard the Lord say, just learn to love me and we'll work everything else out. Wow. I'm like, okay. So I started to think about everything that I loved and enjoyed and its consequences. And I'm like, okay, I'm a liar. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I'm a thief. <laughs> That's it. I masturbate and watch porn. I know that's it. <laughs> somewhere. That's it. I know that ain't right. <laughs> I'm rebellious to my parents. Like people forget that's part of the commandments. Right. It's to obey and honor mm. your, your parents. I'm rebellious to every piece of authority in my life. That's it. Like everything I did was wicked according to scripture. And what it showed me is that my, my issue was not just my sexuality. It was my heart. Wow. My entire heart was an idol making factory. I loved everything God made more than I loved, loved him. him. <clears throat> so, and I say that because, especially when you grow up in church mm. or even the way social media is constructed, you think God is only troubled by your loudest sins. The, the, it's 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 not the loud stuff is just a symptom of the heart yeah it's, it's that yeah your heart Megan is, is the problem mm -hmm. it's, yes. it's, it's your soil is corrupted and so the fruit the plants that's coming out of that are just indicative of the heart and so that's why you could you could try to stop the big sins and still be problematic Lord. because you haven't fixed the problem Lord. that's not the problem <laughs> you are <laughs> Where are you going? For I sure. Be here. <laughs> you got it from here. She, she has it. For sure. You left. I'm sorry. So for sure. And that's Romans. You're talking about that. That's though, Romans one, actions. where it, it talks about idolatry. You know what I'm saying? Is that they exchange the glory of the Creator for created mm. things? And so, like the way I grew up, I just thought. Okay, I just gotta, I just gotta be a good person. I just gotta stop calling this this person. I just gotta stop watching this, or I, I just gotta mm -hmm, stop listening mm -hmm. to this. And I try to, to I try to mm. mechanize holiness, mm. like you know. Say, what does that mean? Like, <laughs> if I stop doing, doing certain things, behaviors. then that will change me. Yeah. But that didn't change me. It actually just made me more discouraged. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, so so that, that puts me in a position where I have to recognize that if I want to be different, I can't do it. God has to do it. Oh, right. Salvation is a miracle God. that the Holy Spirit himself has to create. What does it mean to be a new creation? If not, that God himself does it. And you, he, Thank you, you, you don't know how to create nothing that God ain't gave you. Wow. So he has to give you a new heart, right? And wow. that's what I never Lord. understood about church. I'm doing the altar calls. I'm I'm saying the prayer fifteen thousand times. I'm trying, to, but nothing ever changed me until I finally said, "God, I don't know how to do this." 
I don't you know. you went to him and said that. In and utter did, dependence. Yes, I need you to I do it. I don't know how to do this, but if you want me to be like you, you have to do it. And I was different. So that's my. Hey, man, you know what I'm noticing on here? You know, I know uh, the two other girls on the other side. One is B. Simone. I don't know who the other girl's name is, but, I, you know, the way she's looking and absorbing um, it, it's saying a lot about her wanting to understand how to and wanting to change you know truly seeking um, change wanting that you know uh, B Simone on the other hand it seems more of a hearing but not hearing just right. wanting to talk back but going in, it's um, going in the whole situation is interesting like she hear it you but know, it's not penetrating I'll for change say it like this the whole situation is interesting um it talks about in romans she mentioned romans how you know um they wanted a lie over the truth you know and they you know men messed with men women messed with women and it was outside of god's nature right so to be anything but straight is outside of god's nature whether or not it says it's a fruit of the spirit to be heterosexual in the bible or not to be outside uh, of God's nature is to be with the same gender. So you cannot be with somebody, amen. But if you choose to, then for it to show God's nature, it needs to be the opposite gender. Otherwise, it's outside of God's nature and it's, it steps in a place of confusion. It's not showing God. It's specifically out of your own desires and out of your own flesh and we know that we're meant to die to that we're meant to die to our flesh we're meant to die to what the flesh wants hallelujah and, and may the flesh decrease may the spirit increase that's not going to happen though when you're going outside of god's nature when you're stepping into a place of confusion it's going to bring division it's going to allow the enemy to come into your mind and truly bring you into a place of depression bring you into a place of anxiety bring you into a place of really fighting for your life out here see the difference with, with fighting with the lord is you can feel the peace inside you you get what i'm saying you know that you're fighting it's not an easy fight but you can still feel the, feel the lord inside yeah you understand what i'm telling you like when the disciples were in the storm christ was still there he was asleep. Christ was still there when they went. went Chilling. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hope somebody's hearing me. Even in your worst storm, the Lord is still there. Yeah. The Lord is still there. You get what I mean? It's it's a beautiful situation when you truly understand the walk and truly understand uh, who you are, the child of God. Don't allow the enemy to take your inheritance away by stepping outside of God's nature. Right. Hey man, uh, I pray you guys got something out of this video. Hallelujah. Yeah. Um. That's look, bro. I got I got some of what she was saying, not all of it though, because a lot of it didn't make no sense to me. But um, basically, I got what she was saying because there's a lot of people, not even just LGBTQ, who believe that you have to come to Christ put together. I don't know who put y'all together for you to even come to Christ, but like they really believe like, oh, I have to come to Christ. Like I have to come to Christ. Like I have to get it together before I go to God. And it's like, no, come toe up so he can put you back together. So he can give you your new identity. So he can tell you who you are and not what the world says you are. Not what your father said he was, not what your mother said you was, whoever spoke negativity or, or, or a curse over your life. Let God tell you who he is. Let his word tell you who he is. And I think that was her whole sentiment. Like, you not coming to Christ to be straight. Because that was her sentiment. Oh, I mean, I want to come to God, but I don't want to like men. Like, you know what I'm saying? And her whole point being, like, that was not the point. He, Jesus like, hello, see me first. Everything else you worried about, and that don't matter. Can you love me? Can I show you who I am? I tell you why I did it for you. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's, it's levels to this stuff. I just wish people would have discernment, <laughs> and not just it's, it takes more than discernment for this situation here. I think 
you have to read in between the lines i think you just have to have knowledge about certain things because this wasn't i can see how this can be misconstrued to somebody who don't know who jackie is and i don't know her we're gonna be we're gonna be really good friends one day i promise you that we are but for right now we're strangers man i still agree with jackie even though isaiah was spitting some facts i think he just didn't understand her point of view like from an ex lgbtq like hey these are the conversations they're really having these are the things that they're really talking about how they don't want to become straight but they want the god you know what i'm saying i get the whole marriage and what's the whole point that's the point of it and we're in a marriage we're in a covenant i understand that but when they come into god they don't know what that is nor do they care they just feel a calling from god and they want to fix their lives and everything else comes as a process as they learn and grow and mature in the spirit so but anyway well, thank you guys for watching thank you guys for staying through thank you guys for, for for kicking it with your girl you know what i'm saying if you have anything to say in the comments below put it there if you're new hit that subscribe button hit that like button we're on the road to a thousand subscribers and as always i will see you or you will see me next time peace